Hello everybody, Jetpack Buddha here. Welcome back to another episode of uh, Terraria Master Mode. I have a Skeleton Archer banner in my inventory, and also a Hunter Potion. Uh, the reason why I did that is simply uh, due to the reason that uh, in the last episode we didn't have the means of making an Ankh Shield because we didn't have a trifold map. However, now we do have a trifold map. And, um, where is my trifold? Where? I probably put it in my money trough. Uh, yeah, we have... So... Just need to take all this. Uh, where's the clock? There. The plan. And craft the ank charm. And then we can craft... Or, I guess the ank charm. Uh, the ank shield. With no reforges. Alright. I would like to change that. Oh, it's only six gold. Alright, I'll do menacing. Anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be... Actually, I need to go back there. Uh, today's episode, we are going to be kind of dungeon crawling, basically. We're just going to be kind of walking about in the dungeon. And I was about to say that, like, I have a goal to get enough ectoplasm to make an entire thing, but do I not have ectoplasm required? Or did I just put it somewhere stupid? Oh, well. Well, either way, I need 27 ectoplasm, so. Yeah, that's basically it. We have, we already have something from there. The Inferno Fork and... Like, I was trying to figure out how how should I set the goal for this episode, because it's kind of like getting 27 ectoplasm. I mean, I mean, just getting stuff until I get all everything that I want could take a very long time, so for now I'm just doing an ectoplasm goal. But, and the best part about the post, about the post-Plantera dungeon is just the fact that, like, it's kind of just, like, there's so much stuff to drop, it's kind of like, ooh, I, I get a thing, and... And you test it out for a bit, and half the time it isn't useful. But sometimes it is useful. This ink shield is going to be really good because it basically just makes me immune to every sort of debuff except for, like, frozen ones and being set on fire. Wow, my mouth is dry from all that talking. Wait, that's our first victim. He did not drop anything. So the magic number is 27 ectoplasm. I feel like I already mentioned that, but you can never be too sure. Not a lot of people are spawning yet, which I mean. Oh, I. I was, oh no. Hi, can can can. He. Yeah, the wizard. Can you stop moving? Thank you. Yeah, it might be a little bit more difficult than I first thought with all the necromancers and stuff. Also, uh, that. I think of all the things I want. Uh, definitely, like, stuff to make the Master Ninja gear. That's kind of like a given. You are not required to make the Master Ninja gear, you are a uh, Bone Mage. Um, I may die very quickly. Actually, I might not, 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 I might... <sighs> my, my last second, and I died. That's the dungeon for you. Alright. Uh, I'm back in here, and I got another Inferno Fork, and I think my main use of attack is going to be these knives, because even though they don't dish out a lot of damage, they're going to help stop me from getting damaged. And yeah, they do 100 damage per hit, so I definitely feel like my idea is justified. No, no, stop it. Oh, nice, we got Ectoplasm. Yeah, they do like over a hundred damage. That's a lot. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's obvious, but still. More than I was really expecting. The main problem about my vampire knives is that they do not have knockback. Because I decided to go for more damage. Because, I mean, these... And this is like one of the few situations where I would actually use this as a damage weapon. Most of the time I would just use it to heal. But... I mean, it lets me dish out a decent amount of damage, so... Not really too bad. Actually, I don't even think it's my thing that's the problem. It's just these dudes are very knockback resistant. I'll take my life bask. I feel like I should kind of get to a different spot. Alright, even then I sometimes die. But, uh... I got killed by a bone Lee. Hmm. He doesn't have a lot of life left, so... Also, I want to see what happens when I quick stack, uh... This ectoplasm. It gets quick stacked. But to where? Where did I put the freaking ectoplasm? Oh, in here. Okay, 13. Um. That's. Uh, it's like about halfway there to 27, I guess. Also, I just remembered, uh, when I was doing cave bat farming, I used this giant hole. In fact, actually, this is what where the this is the same place where we got the minecart rail and it's significantly faster I feel than um going all the way down to the dungeon because we kind of just sort of get there immediately just drops us off sorry snail boom there there it is there's our overly done chest Okay, that guy was being kind of difficult. Can you can you s stop? Okay, thank you. Guess I'll take a Titan potion. Might actually be useful. Knocking these guys back. I like rarely ever use potions outside of bosses. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean. I think it's just a neutral thing. Because, I mean, like, yeah, I'll, I'll get a bonus, but it's kind of like, do you want more time, like, done fishing, or or more time just uh, doing stuff? And we got a morning start, and this guy is being annoying. It's something he's very good at. He should... Oh, I was about to say he should be Proud, but then I realized that he is trying to murder me. So that maybe he shouldn't be proud. He should be ashamed of himself, I guess. Same with you. No one likes your little ricochet. It's like a magic trick, except it's actually magic. And we have a guy with a rocket launcher who is going to most certain. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going to most certainly kill us, but no, he just slightly certainly could have killed us. Ow. That was, was like someone could just catch me up because I kind of just stopped talking for a split second. It's like, no, say more things. Don't know why a white terrarium wants me to say more things. I don't think things that I'm saying are really useful, it's more just filler, so you can see me throwing knives in the dungeon. That being said, oh, hi, hi, yes, I, 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 I see your magic trick. Ooh, okay, that, that guy's okay, my book. Mm. I feel like the golden shower could still have some use, but, like, very little. So now we have lasers. I like lasers. They're cool. 
and they don't do a lot of knockback, so I'm still probably going to stick to these. Oh, Cursed Skull. What? Who's, who's down there? What are you doing down there, buddy? You're 6,000 health for just being a normal enemy. That's master mode for you, I guess. I need to do something about the spikes. I can't just not ignore them at this point. They're just kind of obstructing my path. Ow. It'd be cool if we could get the light... Oh, I mean, I, this isn't the light pad, but it's like a legendary morning star, which is definitely something. Doesn't really make me see better. However, I know this thing paired with, like, obsidian armor is super powerful, but obsidian armor has super low defense. Literally pre-hard mode. I mean, it might be good, I guess, if you just want, like, if you're doing, like, I guess probably, like, probably pretty good for daytime Empress of Light. Because if you die even once then, then, if you get hit even once, then it doesn't matter how much defense you get. You just die immediately. Unless you have something to dodge. That they're gonna drop something. I feel like I should probably look at the mini map more because the mini map probably has more points of interest. Kind of just dawdling along. Maybe the bone lead that killed me is still. Oh, well, I mean, it's not the bone lead that killed me, but it's a bone lead. And, at least I think it is. No, it's not. It's blue armor bones. Okay, that's not the bone lead that killed me. Bone lead that killed me is just a gone, I guess. Oh, I was not expecting to get ectoplasm there. I don't know, I feel like just how I'm speaking, this almost feels like a Bob Ross video, at least ha while I'm recording, but I don't think Bob Ross would be, like, just slashing a giant, like, rainbow sword at skeletons. Go get them, plantar spores. I'm not sure if the plantar spores did it, but, I mean... There's a, a sniper rifle skeleton. And we got a tactical shotgun. Must admit, pretty surprisingly good ranger weapon. The slain in hard mode. I saw someone move past. Ow. Okay. These spikes have to be dealt with. Oh my god. Please. Get mined. Thank you for being mined up. Spikes. You can't defeat me. I mean, you easily... Yeah, yeah, you can defeat me. Actually, scratch that. Maybe my spores can go and kill some of them. Nope. You can do it. No, it's... And that's kind of sad to watch, actually. Ooh. A key brand. Wait. Holy crap. Wait, what's that effect? Deals more damage to injured foes? Oh. In in interesting. Uh, something new in 1.4, I guess. Definitely sets it apart. I'm not sure if it's worth putting in my inventory, but I mean, it's definitely interesting. 
skeleton. So I realize that we have not come across a single skeleton sniper. I mean, I don't really have a raisin to, but it kind of snows that. Alright, it says that there's a bone lee nearby, and that... Oh, there's two bone lees! Oh, that's a spicy meatball. And we got some tabbies. don't remember whether we have the tabby or the black belt. I mean, either way, it's something. Can you stop teleporting? Kinda rude. I should be the only one who has overpowered abilities around here. I think, I don't know. Magnet Sphere. Um, probably one of the least interesting. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's the Paladin. Oh no, 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 oh no. Come on, come on, spores. Okay, spores got him. Be nice if I could get Paladin's hammer. Will I though? I will not because I know that Trario wouldn't want me to. Yep. Hi, Dungeon Spirit. Oh, he dropped a black belt and a tabby at the same time. Oh, okay, and we have 27 ectoplasm. Might be worth to have just a bit more, so that way we can, uh, for events and stuff, you know, like pumpkin and frost moon. That being said, I am not sure when we would really do them, so, I mean, oh, well, I'm not too sad that I... Not sad about me teleporting from a die ball, so I'm going to be honest. So I got some morning stars, a bunch of good stuff. I can go all in here. At some point, I'm going to need to do a major purge of just my inventory. Then, yeah, we have black belt and tabby. Did we have a black belt or a tabby in the chest before? Black belt. Oh, and ha has the exact same prefix. Hard, violent, or armored. I don't think it really matters. That being said, where is... There we go. We can make probably the... Weapon-wise, this is like easily one of the best. I mean, accessory-wise. It's like easily in the big leagues. It's just not really talked about all that much. I might put it in place of the Star Veil. Just because the Star Veils, because the Spore Sack at the moment, is kind of our only way to, like, not, to have an actual, like, damage output that's not coming from us. So, yeah. Um. Alright, how much Chlorophyte? Two whole bars. Now we're talking. Um. I'm going to get the rest of the bars off camera, simply just because, like, it's chlorophyte mining, it's not really the most interesting thing in the world. So yeah, uh, by the next episode, we should be able to craft chlorophyte armor, and on that note, I'm going to end this episode here. I will see you guys all later, and goodbye.